Water tanks, lots of fun. Water tanks, put them up. They need to be filled with water. They're gonna fill our showers and fill our home with lots of love and water and foam. I didn't think I was gonna get this far today. I'm not even, well, I mean, this far, this fast, I should say. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. Hello, beautiful people. So I am currently attempting to put these water tanks up, but I need to um, install these mounts before I'm able to do it. I'm really doing a lot of experimenting right now. This is JB Weld. I was using something like this, it's like a sheet metal screw. Honestly, I couldn't find a lot of them. Home Depot only has so much. I went to Ace Hardware, they didn't have them. I went to Lowe's, they didn't have it. So I'm just going with a washer, lock washer, and then I'm just pushing it up into the holes that are existing. And if there are none, no existing holes, I'm just drilling a hole. Let's see if I can show you how this works. These are the beams I'm installing. I cut them to 25 and a half inches each, which gives me plenty of room on each side to hang the dowels. I'm using this clamp and a piece of wood that helped me piece of metal up while I drilled the holes. And yeah, I'm gonna do one, two, three, probably do five, depending on how far the tank reaches. Honestly, that's pretty good. Can you do an L sit really quick? Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. I don't have anything to grab on. The ones that are working best are the are these, but they have a point at the bottom. Wait, show me. This one's round. I tried grinding a point into it, but it just didn't work. This is what you want. This is three eighths, an inch long, and then I'm gonna use the lock washers like that with a real washer. Or not a real washer, but a flat washer. Hoping that this is gonna give me a really good hold. Get my screw. I think the JB Weld's really gonna give it a good hold. And depending on how I feel later, I might have someone weld uh, these into place just to be extra safe. Okay. <clears throat> That's my lover. So how many are you doing for each I was one? gonna do six each. That was quick, huh? God, that's so annoying. Are we out of the good ones? Yeah, I mean, I got one of them to go in here. So he's trying to get ones that are the same size to fit in the hole, but I'm kind of struggling. Man, so annoying. I'm, I'm right here on the other side. What? I'm I'm on the other side. I can help you. Are you talking to me? So we might have to come back tomorrow to finish this guy up. That's okay. We're getting a lot further than we thought, right? They're just laying around in the street. So where did we end off today? I don't know because I don't have the thing here, but oh. The what? The tank. Yeah, we do. You have like another three inches until the end of this. Actually not that bad. It's gonna be hanging right here. It's mm -hmm. kinda low, isn't it? There's not much we can do about it. <gasps> We're gonna finish up the water tanks today. I'm gonna try and get all the threaded rod put in, as well as all the beams set, and then eventually I wanna have a welder come and just like 
be the top so you know when we're carrying around 600 pounds of water it doesn't fall off that would be good now we're not actually going to put the water tank underneath the bus quite yet we have the water tank but ran out of the angle iron here and then we needed a few more very specific bolt heads they're sheet metal screws uh they actually cut their way into the metal so it just gets a better hold but they we couldn't find them uh anywhere but ace hardware and they only had like seven of them so, so we had to special order yes yeah, so we had to special order i'm feeling it's gonna work this stuff is like this holds like 65 pounds the glue yeah it's all these epoxies are always part a part b but i've watched like jb weld versus gorilla glue videos and jb weld like shits on everything else so we told you guys that we ran out of bolts and equipment but we actually started using some of the old bolts from the original bus itself that we're like holding things underneath here. So repurpose your screws. Yeah, see this was, these were the ideal ones. Where the ones? Hold oh. it still. Okay. Let's do. Thankful to A1 Storage for their fantastic electricity. And Mark and Denise for buying us a grinder. Yeah, very true. And Home Depot for supplying us. Actually, I got those at Northern Tool. Great spot, by the way. We're looking to get our storage boxes. Might get them from Northern Tool. A little pricey. What? $2.95. <laughs> Don't hit that car. Oh my God. Sean's doing abs. Sean's no, doing I'm abs. installing a water tank. While installing a water tank. This is a lot of work, man. Or just stupid water tank. Guess what, too? What? We got to do it again on the other side. Water tanks, lots of fun. Water tanks, put them up. They need to be filled with water. Ashley found this in the bus. This isn't what we're using, but this is exactly what it's gonna look like. Flat washer, locking washer, and a nut on both sides. But I need to cut one, two, three, four, five, six more of these. Get, Get to, to it! it. <gasps> oh my gosh! That was cute. I yeah. think that within the next few weeks, we might be filming on a real camera. I think we're gonna get a real camera. I don't Number know if you guys two. know this, but we film everything on iPhones, but That's we're getting a little awesome. sick of all the storage issues. These self-tapping screws are so annoying. There's no like pilot hole, obviously, and I'm drilling up. So it's just like falling out constantly. So it's a pain in my rumpus. That's what it is, but it's okay. I think they're pretty solid. Like I, I'm not like totally convinced we have to, um, weld them. I mean, it would just be nice to have them welded, wouldn't you think? I really don't think you need to, though. I don't think so either, but, like, better safe than uh, kill someone on the highway. Someone took these cross beams here and then installed them with many, many bolts. The ones on the very edges were used to um, do this whole attachment up here. So these are the pieces that go up into the beams that are attached to the bus chassis. They're spring-loaded, and then we're just putting them in like this, twisting them so that they stay held on. So the beam then on each side will have a dowel screwed into it. The dowel goes up and into these, twists into the hole that was drilled there. And then on the dowel on the outside, we have two of these washers that go like this, one washer like this, and finally we use the nut. So all in all, this little situation. How's it look? Good. This is gonna take a while. I call this the smooth and groove. Smooth, groove, smooth, groove. 
it's not much. The only thing that was like an issue were the screws. Like these screws are, you need to be very particular with your screw choice mint, choice, choice mint. If you use those other ones with the big wood threads on it, you just don't like lock up there. So this is me editing, realizing that we never filmed an outro for this as per usual. But just wanted to thank you guys for watching part one of our water tank install. Um, you saw that we didn't actually put the tanks in there, but very soon in the next few weeks, we will finish the bottom part of that structure that we showed you. So make sure that you come back for that to see how to do the whole thing in total and see both our fresh and gray water tanks installed. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you soon.